Welcome to Ceres, the only dwarf planet residing among the planets in our inner solar system. Unlike the other dwarf planets that orbit far from the Sun in the Kuiper Belt beyond Neptune, Ceres orbits among the planets in the main asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. It orbits the Sun at an average distance of about 413 million kilometers, or 257 million miles. Depending on the positions of Earth and Ceres in their orbits, its closest approach to Earth can be around 239,400,000 kilometers, or 148,756,000 miles, which is closer than Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. With an orbital period of approximately 1,682 Earth days, or 4.6 Earth years, Ceres takes its time to orbit the Sun. Ceres measures roughly 946 kilometers, or 588 miles in diameter, making it the largest object in the asteroid belt, and comprising over 20% of the belt's total mass. Its nearly spherical shape suggests that gravity has molded it over time, causing heavier materials to settle into a solid core, while lighter substances form its outer layers. The surface of Ceres has an average temperature of around minus 100 degrees Celsius, or minus 148 degrees Fahrenheit, although sunlit regions can warm to about minus 33 degrees Celsius, or minus 27 degrees Fahrenheit highlighting the dramatic range between light and darkness in this distant environment. One of the most intriguing aspects of Ceres is its composition. Extensive data reveal that its surface is a mix of rock and water ice, interlaced with clays, carbonates, and various hydrated minerals. Ceres might even be composed of as much as 15% water, meaning this small dwarf planet could contain more water than the entire planet Earth. Another striking feature is Akator Crater, where unusually bright spots shine against the darker terrain. These spots are believed to be deposits of sodium carbonate, hinting at episodes of cryovolcanism, a form of volcanic activity driven by water or briny slurries rather than molten rock. Unlike Earth, Ceres does not boast a thick permanent atmosphere. Instead, it is enveloped by a very thin exosphere, a transient layer of gases that occasionally reveals wisps of water vapor. This outgassing likely occurs when surface ice sublimates upon exposure to sunlight. A day on Ceres lasts just over nine hours, meaning you'd experience rapid transitions from light to dark. Yet its gravity is remarkably low at around 0.27 meters per second squared, approximately 3% of Earth's gravity. On Ceres, you'd feel almost weightless. If you weigh 150 pounds, or 68 kilograms on Earth, you would only weigh about 4.5 pounds, or 2.04 kilograms. Ceres also holds an important place in the history of astronomy. It was discovered on January 1st, 1801 by Giuseppe Piazzi and was initially believed to be a planet before later being recognized as the first asteroid discovered. Ceres was reclassified as a dwarf planet in 2006. Named after the Roman goddess of agriculture, grain crops, and fertility, it has been the focus of extensive research. Discoveries from missions like NASA's Dawn have deepened our understanding in its water-rich makeup and hinted at its role in the early formation of our solar system. Imagine standing on the surface of Ceres, observing the play of light and shadow over a landscape marked by rugged craters, icy patches, and the reflective allure of Akator Crater's bright spots. Every feature offers clues about geological processes that have shaped not only this dwarf planet, but also the broader history of our solar system. Even as a seemingly small object, Ceres expands our understanding of our place in the cosmos and sparks our curiosity about the history and evolution of our solar system. This tiny freezing world deepens my gratitude for the stable conditions we enjoy here on Earth and I am grateful to share this moment with all of you. Thank you so much for joining me on this exploration of Ceres. 
If you enjoyed this video, feel free to share your support with a like, a comment, or by sharing it with other curious minds. Your support truly goes a long way in helping others find and enjoy these adventures. I would also like to thank this amazing community for your ongoing support. I appreciate you all. If you'd like to join me on more adventures soon, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss the next one. Thanks again. Until next time, take care and be well.